What's up, guys? What's up? And welcome to another episode of It's a She Thing TV by me, Dominique. Okay, guys, first and foremost, all I have to say is this review is not going to be long, okay? Because this episode was a pile of shit, okay? I wasted 42 minutes of my life watching this episode. I mean, I could have done without it, okay? Yes, we have filler episodes to fill up time. Great, okay? But if nothing is going on, can Bravo just not show us, please? Thank you. Let's just get into this, okay? Welcome to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, season seven, episode seven. Review by me, Dominique, okay? The most booming episode thus far, okay? I'm not even going to go in on half of the stories because I give no shits, okay? It was that boring. It was it was a waste of my time. What's the time now? 9.14, yeah, waste of my time. Okay, <laughs> all right. Let's just get into this, okay? Because this was some bullshit. I was very mad after watching this. I was, okay, all right. Okay, so Aunt Nora's cookout, okay? Nothing much is going on, okay? Things are still the same. Mama Joyce is still a bitter old woman, okay? And she's always angry. She's never happy, okay? She's furious at her daughter. And, you know, she's just mad at the world, you know. She's just tired, you know. She's on medication to stop her from having an aneurysm. I, I mean, really? Guys, this, I don't even think this is a review, okay? This is a rant. Okay, so what happens? So basically, you know, all the shit Candy was talking about, you know, her mom's new boyfriend messing up her house, got back to Mama Joyce. What a coincidence. So her two little aunties probably, no, most definitely went back and told Mama Joyce everything that Candy had said, okay, about her man fucking up her house that she gave the mama, okay? All right, and Mama Joyce is not happy. She is not happy with the fact that Candy is talking about her man, even though she does the same damn thing about Todd. And not only does she talk about Todd, but she spoke about Todd's family, his mother who has passed away. She has done far much worse pieces of shit to everyone else, but yeah, you know, as soon as someone says one thing about her, she mad at the world, okay, so then what happened, she isn't talking to Candy now, giving her the silent treatment, everyone knows about the house situation, okay, and her mama Joyce had the audacity to call Candy ungrateful, and says, you know, she's done everything for Candy, and Candy just ungrateful, now I'm not taking it away from mama Joyce that, you know, she's been a good mother to Candy, because she, she, she probably has, she definitely has, you know, she's raised Candy to be the, the, successful woman that she is now or was that candy that did that herself either way she has been a good mother to candy yes but right now i don't know what's going on okay but for the last few seasons you have not been right and for you to sit there and call candy ungrateful when y'all the most ungrateful person on the damn show you are the most ungrateful person this girl has bought you about three houses okay i've counted it okay she's bought you three houses you've declined almost all of them okay the house that you don't even have to pay rent for, which you don't have to because she's your daughter and she's rich. Fine, okay? But you want to sit here and get your flea-ridden flea, flea -ridden boyfriend to come and just tear up the house like he pay rent, like he pays bills. Really? Okay, you have the audacity to call her ungrateful when you're really trying to destroy her marriage. Okay, all right. So then what happens? Auntie Nora is sick of this, okay? That food looked good. Mmm... I need to make a donation link so that you guys can donate food to me from America. Is that bad? Oh, I'm so fat. Let me stop. <laughs> I'm serious though, because can someone just... Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. But if you want to donate me something, you can do that. I mean, I'm... <laughs> okay, going back. So, Auntie Nora is not happy, okay? And she wants Candy and Mama Joyce to talk. So, she takes Candy over to her mom. And basically, Mama Joyce cuts Candy out in a text message. However, she doesn't recall, okay? I don't know if Mama Joyce is becoming senile, guys, okay? I don't know if she's senile, if she's suffer from, suffering from dementia. She is just not right, guys, okay? And it must be the medication, but she was acting stank before all this medication, okay? And now, all of a sudden, when Candy wants to confront her mother, she's tired of talking. She don't want to talk no more because she's on medication. Eh, she don't want to get an aneurysm. But when it comes to cussing out Todd and his family, oh, your aneurysm is nowhere to be seen or nowhere to be found. And your medication just not there. Hmm? You have no problem turning up when it comes to Todd and his family. But when it comes to you and your fuck shit, you don't want to talk. Okay. And Candy just lets it slide because that's her mama and her mama owed. No. Okay. Your mama's going to be the reason why you become 
become a single old ass woman, okay? And you're sitting here trying to have a baby. You're trying to have a baby with all this stress, Candy. You damn near 40 years old, Candy. You damn near 40 years old, so you're going to be childless, okay? Well, you're not childless. You have Riley, but Riley's already about 29 years old, okay? She bigger than me. She bigger than me. She is not 11 years old, all right? Okay? Your mom is going to be the ex the reason for why you and Todd don't make it as a couple, okay? I really hope that's not the case, but yeah, okay? So yeah, Mama Joyce is just full of excuses. Moving on, what else happens? Demetria McKinney, or whatever her name was, okay? So she's an actress slash model, I've never heard of her. Oh, and she's a singer, never heard of her, okay? And um, she wants a model for, you know, her new video, and she goes to Cynthia's agency. They all know each other, la di la -dee. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's dating someone called Roger Bob. He's her manager slash her man. They've been dating on and off for damn near eight years. Peter and Cynthia have known him for many years and did not hear a single thing about him dating anyone called Demetria, okay? All right? But she's very adamant about them dating. She says, you know, they've been keeping it under wraps and now, you know, they're ready to take their relationship further. Whatever, I don't give a shit. She has a problem with Kenya. Kenya took a picture with Roger and, you know, Daddy Daddy. Rumors started kicking in. You know, guys, this episode was full of shit. Then what happened? The three amigos, Cynthia, Kenya, and Claudia, okay? The Sex in the City girls, okay? Kenya Snore, Cynthia Bailey, and Claudia Boredom is what I call them now, okay? Because I'm just tired of their little... I mean, Claudia, I don't mind her because she makes me laugh, okay? The fact that she said the only action she's getting is from her cat, that is hilarious, okay? That's hilarious, but I'm not buying this whole friendship shit. You know, Cynthia's like, my girl's bitch. You, were, you weren't even feeling Kenya last season, and now all of a sudden you guys are the best of friends, okay? And then you guys want to refer to yourselves as the Sex and the City girls. Kenya being Carrie, Char <laughs> and Cynthia being Charlotte, and, and Claudia being Samantha. I mean... Why did Bravo feel the need to show us this? No one gives a fuck. Okay? So then what happens? Um, the whole talk about what Roger Bob comes up. Kenya tries to sell Roger Bob to Claudia. Cynthia steps in and says, no, no, no. He is with someone. Okay, he's with my girl, Demetria. Kenya's like, mm -hmm, I don't know. Because he was dating a few of my girls a few months back. Okay? So apparently he gets around. I don't give a shit. What happened? Nini and her reference to the gays. Okay, now we all know Nene is friends with many gay guys, which is great, okay? Yes, great. But the way that she addresses them is not very nice, okay? Yes, she probably doesn't mean it in that way, but you can't just be talking about them like that, like, oh yeah, I have me a gay. Like, they are just a pet that you just picked from the store. Oh girl, did you get you a gay? Yes, girl, I have two gays. Two gays, I'm about to purchase another one, bitch. They for sale, two for five, two for five. Nini, okay? And if the gays were your friend, they'll tell you that that piece of raggedy and piece of shit wig that was on your head during the confessional was terrible, okay? So clearly the gays don't like you enough to tell you not to ever wear that piece of shit ever again, okay? What the fuck was that? Who cut that? Were they blind? Damn it. This episode was a mess, okay? Nini and the gays, stop calling them, I mean, referring to them like they're just, okay, come on, moving on. Phaedra visits Candy, okay? I'm trying to do this fast because I really don't care for this fucking episode at all. I really don't give a shit. Girl, and here's me talking. I guess this is going to be a full review, okay? <laughs> All right, Candy visits, um, Phaedra visits Candy. And, you know, Candy is still trying for a baby, like I already mentioned. Things are tense between her and Apollo, she says. And, you know, Candy's cousin, Melvin, steps in and tries to tell Phaedra. You know, give her some advice about telling her boys the truth about Apollo's situation. Yes, tell the cute baby that their daddy is a bum ass and he's going to jail. Okay, don't lie to the kids. I mean, I understand where Phaedra's coming from. You know, it's hard to tell the kids, oh, yeah, by the way, your dad's a fraud. <laughs> your dad's a fraud. Your dad's a fraud. He's a, he's a felon. He's a criminal and he's gone to jail for a long time. You know, you can't really say that to the kids, but you can't lie to them either they're gonna grow up and it's just gonna be a mess so can people fuck off oh i'm not in the mood today okay today's been a very busy day christmas hello all right so yeah you know everyone gets teary-eyed and you know she's still conflicted with what to do okay moving on kenya pays roger bob a visit okay she wants to kickstart her career comedy <laughs> you're funny to laugh at 
but you're not funny. Okay. Did that even make sense? It made sense in my head. Okay, what happened is, she said she doesn't want to get personal, even if she wants to get personal. She asked him about Demetra very cleverly, and he basically confirms and says, yes, Demetra is his girl. Okay? Now, sip on that tea, Kenya. Mm-hmm. All right? Yes. That was not music to her ears. Clearly, she felt some type of way. And then he invites her to the release party. Now, back to the release party, okay? Cynthia gets on my damn nerves. Cynthia gets on my damn nerves because she said something that pissed me off, and I don't even know where it is. She's just babbling a whole lot of shit this season, okay? And she's so brave in her confessionals, yet she can't be brave to Nini like this. All that talking just don't happen when Nini come in the picture. <laughs> you better pray these girls don't see your confessionals because you, you act like the big bag of wolf. Shit. Okay. Candy and Faith to show up. So does Claudia, okay, Portia comes through, Cynthia's face says it all, okay, and then Kenya comes along, it's all awkward, okay, all the women, <laughs> yeah, 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 and you know, the person that's meant to be there, Roger Bob is nowhere to be found, okay, he is not there, alright, and Kenya just doesn't understand that, why are you going to invite her to a party, no, no, you ain't going to be there, okay, and, and to top things off, you are dating the host of the party, you are her manager, why are you not here, okay, alright, Ladies are not feeling that. So then, you know, Demetra comes, she introduces herself to everyone. Oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. The entire evening was awkward as hell, and to make matters worse, Apollo fucking shows up. When the fuck is he going to jail? When is he going to jail? When? When? Okay, he shows up. Phaedra looks less than happy to see him. Girl, I understand we all less than happy to see him. No one wants to see him. It's time he goes behind bars. Right now, <laughs> please go, okay? She is not happy to see him. And if Cynthia wants to throw shade, okay, she says, you know, oh, why isn't Phaedra happy to see her husband? Ooh, Miss Southern Bell, shut the fuck up, Cynthia. Shut up, okay? You don't know half of what this woman is going through. And you want to try and make some Shut up, please shut up, okay? I'm tired of her. All right, so then they have some technical difficulties, okay? So the video premiere is not happening. No video, okay? What else happens? Apollo tries to talk to Phaedra. He is annoying us. He's like, why are you not talking to me? What have I done? Why are you not saying anything? Are you going to look at me? Why are you acting on stage in front of all these people? You ain't going to say nothing? Phaedra, Phaedra, come over here. Come. I'm tired of his schizophrenic split personality ass. Okay, one minute he wants to be calm, lovey-dovey, then he wants to turn into Ike Turner, start, you know, raising up his voice. He said, you know what, you lucky I don't switch it up in this motherfucker. <laughs> I wish you would, Apollo. I wish you would. I wish you would switch it up and get your ass double sentence. Please. Okay? She is so over him. She is ignoring him. She doesn't even want to be near him. The sight of him is making her sick. Okay? Because he hugs her eventually and she's looking like she just wants to be away from him. And you know, the other women are looking on. It's just so painful to watch. Okay? It's just so painful to watch. I need him to go to jail today. Um, yeah. He was causing a damn scene and it was just annoying. He feels neglected when really and truly he's the one that neglected his whole family. Are you shitting me? I'm so sick of this motherfucker, guys. Okay, I couldn't even watch it. All right? And yeah, um, what happens? The video plays no sound. Guys, this episode was full of shit. This episode was terrible. And you know what? I'm never going to get excited for next week because it's probably going to be a pile of shit too. Okay? I'm sick of these filler episodes. We can do without it. I don't care if it's building up to something big. I want to see the something big because I'm tired of this. Guys, this is Shifting TV. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I got to go. Bye.